we recommend on first use to remove the hopper cover, get yourself some water and pour it into the hopper. And then with your finger, depress the inlet filter valve button a couple of times just to get some water through into the pump. Come over to the knob and you put it to the prime position and you switch on. You'll know when it's fully primed when the water comes through the return tube in the hopper. Now we're going to do a visual inspection to make sure there isn't any leaks on any of the joints. The machine is now primed and I've switched it to the spray position. The noise you can hear is just the system repressurizing, ready to be sprayed for our test spray. Release the safety catch and give it a test spray into a bucket to make sure the water is coming out correctly. All seems to be working, looks like I'm ready to spray. With the Wagner airless paint sprayer, you can use most paint types and brands. You don't need specialist sprayable paints. You can use solvent-based paints, but I would recommend using water-based paints, as they are easier to dilute if required, and also easier to clean up afterwards. Using paint at room temperature makes them easier to mix and spray. To dilute and get the correct consistency of paint, I would recommend adding 10% water and increase by 5% at a time as required. Mix the paint well. Lift the stirrer from the paint and observe how the paint flows. It should run smoothly and continuously and dissolve into the paint without leaving a trail on the surface. Getting the paint consistency right will ensure you get a professional finish. Pour in up to five and a half litres of paint. We are using Caparol just to demonstrate spraying onto different surfaces. Wipe any drips with a brush or damp cloth. Attach the lid to prevent anything falling into the paint. Then prime the machine, ready for spraying. You can see the paint coming through the return pipe. The machine now is ready to spray. I'm going to put on the safety glasses now. Just going to check that the gun is on safety and the tip is facing in the direction you're going to be spraying. Now I'm ready to do my test patterns on some cardboard. As you can see, we have an even and consistent fan pattern. The key to a good paint finish is an even coat over the entire surface. This black background highlights the excellent coverage and control. Now we're going to spray left to right. Using even strokes and moving your entire arm back and forth, don't flex your wrist. You need to keep your arm moving at all times and keep a constant speed and equal distance from the surface. The best spraying distance is 25 to 30 centimetres between the spray tip and the surface. Pull the trigger about 10 centimetres before the edge of the surface you want to spray and keep the gun moving at a steady pace. The spray gun should be triggered by turning it on and off with each stroke. Do not trigger the gun during the middle of a stroke, this will result in an uneven spray coverage. Overlap each stroke by about 30%. This will ensure an even coat. Should you get a blockage, no specialist tools are required. Just simply turn away into an empty bucket or a piece of cardboard, reverse the tip, squirt, and return to your original position, then carry on spraying. If you've masked up the skirting, this is the type of straight line you can achieve.